Hi everybody, it's Russell with DieselGiant.com back with you and I want to talk a little bit about the Jeep Wrangler tire pressure monitoring system. First of all, let me explain a little bit about what this system does. There is a sensor, it's about that big, it's inside your tire and wheel assembly, it's mounted on top of the wheel and it basically measures your tire pressure. When your tire pressure falls below a certain preset threshold, it will give you an illumination uh, warning light on your dash. Now depending on what year Wrangler you have, on 2013s and 2014s, you actually have an option through your menu on your dash that you can look at each individual tire pressure for all four wheels. If you've got one that's, uh, I believe, a 2012 and older, it may just give you the tire pressure illumination that tells you that one of the tires are low. Um, but anyway, I wanted to make this video because with the temperatures that we're having all across the U.S. this week, especially in the Northeast and the Midwest and even down in the South where I am, the temperatures have been plummeting. So remember that when air temperature goes down, the pressure in your tire is going to go down. When air temperature goes up, the pressure in the tire will go up. Also, when you're driving, especially on the highway, due to the friction of the tire against the surface of the road, it heats the air up inside the tire and will allow the pressure to go up a few PSI. Now the problem is, with the temperatures being as frigid as they have been, you may go out to your Jeep, crank it up, and get the tire pressure monitoring system light, TPM, to illuminate on the dash. That's what happened to me this morning. It went down to six degrees this morning, and my tire pressure yesterday was about 35 PSI, and it was, um, I would say, in the low 30s for temperature. Just that drop from there to this morning, where it went down to 8 degrees, tripped the system, telling me that the tires were low. I believe it was about 27 or 26 PSI that it was reading on three of the tires. So the chime went off, the yellow illumination warning light went off, and it also pulled the menu up on the gauge cluster and started flashing which tires were low and the corresponding uh, pressures that they were at. So, you know, I can tell you all this, but why don't I show you exactly what it's doing? Okay, guys, we're inside the Jeep, and I want to show you what it looks like when the system goes off. Normal dash lights come on. Now you see that flashing right there. That right there is the TPM illumination icon. It's an orange cutaway view of a tire with an exclamation point in the middle. And we can see that what it's showing us is that those three tires are at 33 PSI. Now normally 33 PSI of course would not trip the system but originally it tripped when it was at 27 so I guess it continues um, to flash like that until you know it's saying inflate to 37 so if that's what it takes to get the system to turn off um, go ahead and do it. It's funny that the um, you see the right rear tire is one PSI above the other ones. Um, I believe that when, when it started up this morning said 28 and the other said 27, so maybe that's why it didn't trip. But again, this is a 2013. 2014, I believe, is probably the same. 2012 and earlier is a little different. But I'm going to tell you how to get this shut off in just a second. One other item, if you don't know the proper pressure that your stock tires are supposed to be at, just open your driver's door and on the um, side right there, you'll see your factory stock tire size and also the PSI that it's supposed to be. Now, as you saw on the dash, it was saying to inflate to 37 PSI, which is the exact same thing that it says on the 
sticker there. But just make sure to put the uh, pressure back to the factory pressure. Now, um, you know, if you've got aftermarket tires, then in order to get the illumination off, there's probably going to be one of two things you're going to have to do. Number one is the computer wants to see 37 PSI. So um, even though you may be running some larger tires that have a lower pressure that you normally operate at, it may need 37. The computer may need to see that for that 20 minutes or, well, 20 minutes going over 15 miles an hour. So um, you may want to go ahead and do that, and then you can go ahead and once it resets, you can go ahead and drop the pressure down. Uh, I believe on the factory uh, settings for the uh, sensors that it may be 27 PSI that it trips. So I think there may be th some things aftermarket that you can reset the sensors. I'm not quite sure. Um, somebody else, if you can comment on that. But as far as if you've got the factory set up like I do, then um, go ahead and put it to the factory uh, PSI and you should be good. Okay, so you see what happened on my Jeep when I went to start it. Now, the question is, how do you fix it? Well, it's not as simple as just hitting a reset button. What you have to do is you have to go ahead and fill the tires up to 37 PSI, which is what the... Um, system wants to see there. Once you do that and you drive about 20 minutes or so over 15 miles an hour the system should reset itself. There's no other way to get the illumination light to go off and to stop the flashing um, on the on the gauge. There's just, that's the only way to do it. That's how you, that's how you get it off. Now in my case because the temperature to Mars is going to go up to the mid 40s I'm not going to do anything about it. Um, driving around today, it was the tires were about 33 psi, so it had gone from 27 to 33 already from driving, and because the temperature now is about, you know, in the 20s. So, but what you need to do is you need to, if you're in a climate that's going to stay cold, then go ahead and adjust your tire pressure. But just remember that. As the temperature outside gets warmer and gets warmer, you need to keep an eye on your tire pressure because if you set it now and it's in the 20s, when it gets up in the 50s or 60s, you possibly could be overinflated. The best way to make sure that your tires aren't overinflated is to check your tires once a week and adjust them accordingly. Check your oil once a week. In fact, open the hood and check all your fluids at least once a week. That's just good common sense, and if you have a problem, then you can go ahead and catch it early on. So, um, if you have a 2012, like I said earlier in the video, your illumination, as far as the, um, the tire readout, is probably going to be different. Um, since that's a 2013, that's what I have to show you. Uh, you guys, if you've got something that's a little older, even older than a 2012, you can go ahead and put in the comments below uh, what your uh, system looks like on the dash. Um, feel free to you know, post a video response showing that. I think that would help other people. But hopefully this video has helped you and you didn't freak out and say, I've got to take my vehicle to the dealer um, because it's, you know, the dealer's going to do the exact same thing you're going to do, which is adjust the tire pressure, Go and drive the vehicle about 20 minutes and keeping it over 15 miles an hour and it should reset by itself. So I hope that this video helped you. If you guys could do me a favor and give me some ideas about what you want to see as far as future, future videos and um, I'm going to try to this year accommodate that for you. So everybody have fun with your Jeep and be safe.